Hey, this is Matthew from MiniWarGaming.com. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you a tool that I have found to be indispensable when playing Warhammer 40k or Warhammer Fantasy or even Lord of the Rings. And that tool is Army Builder. Now, Army Builder is um, a software product that you can purchase that allows you to quickly create armor rosters for tournaments or just for just for fun play. We actually have this in our club and everybody uses it all the time. They just When they want to have a thousand point game they sit down quickly and within two minutes they have a thousand point army worked out and they don't have to scribble down all the different things and then the output that it gives you, the, the printout that it gives you, has everything that you need on it. Um, you almost don't need your codex when you're using the army builder, although I still recommend getting one so you can learn all about your your units and everything. I want to show you a quick demonstration of how quickly I can put together a thousand point Tyranid army and how I can use this to make sure that it's valid in all the different ways. So right here I just open it up and I just have to choose the gaming system I want to work with. This works with about 15 or 20 different gaming systems. I only have Warhammer Fantasy and 40k loaded in here. So I just have 40k selected and I'll click on open and then just pass some screens here. It tells me to select my army, choose Tyranids and I can have unlimited size or I can have a restriction. So I'll put it restricted to a thousand. And if I click this button right here I can choose to add in different things. For example, I can have apocalypse rules rather than regular rules, cities of death, city fight, all sorts of different things, different kinds of scenarios. But I'm just going to have regular for now. So my roster options will also include imperial armor such as the trigon and all that, but I don't need to actually use that for now. Hit OK. It's at a thousand points. Click create. Now over here you can see that it tells me how much of each of the um, composition I have, like HQ, Elite, Troops, Fast Attack, and Heavy. And of course, these ones are red because I don't have enough HQ and enough Troops. So let's work on that first. And this is just a thousand point army, so let's just quickly throw together one. So I'll click on HQ, and I love bringing in Broodlords. So I double click that, and it automatically brings it down here, and it puts in five Gene Sealers with it because that's the minimum that are required. And it tells you all of its stats, and then even the cost in points for this unit. I can click on Biomorphs right here and give him all the different stuff. So let's increase his strength and give him Feeder Tendrils. And then the group of Gene Sealers with him, I'm just going to increase their Carapace so that they're 4 plus saves rather than 5 plus. But I don't just want 5, I want, let's say, 8 with him. So I'm just going to switch it over to 8. Okay, so, so far I've used 243 of my 1000 points. So there's my HQ. Now I'm not going to argue whether it's better to take a Hive Tyrant or whatever, it doesn't matter. Then for my troops, let's take a Gaunt Brood. And I'm going to make it a, a Gaunt Brood of 16. And give them Flesh Bores. And I want two groups of this. So I'm just going to right click and duplicate. There we go. Now I'm up to 435. And you can see that over here it says I have one HQ and two troops. So this is a valid army. But let's beef it up. Let's throw in a group of Hormigants. Make them 16 as well. 16 always seems like a nice round number. But I don't like Hormigants just the way they are. I like to give them an extra initiative, especially if I'm against Space Marines. That way they get to attack first. And even give them an extra strength. That way they can really pummel them down. And then let's go for a heavy. Let's go for a Carnifex. So you double click Carnifex. And these ones are the most complicated, so they should also take the longest. But I'm going to make it a shooty Carnifex. So in his biomorphs, I'm going to give him enhanced senses. And then his weapons, I'm going to give him, uh, let's give him a Venom Cannon and Twin Link Devourers. Once again, I'm not here to argue what's the best option. This is one of them that I like to take. And then as an elite choice, we'll take some warriors. Because they're nice round, nice and rounded units. So we got three warriors here. Let's give them Scything Talons. And actually, before I give them the weapon, I'm going to increase their strength and give them a 4 plus save rather than 5 plus. And let's give them death spitters and a new rules those rock. And there's only three of them so let's double that to six. So that brings us to 985 points. Almost perfect. Let's see if I can add in one more warrior. Oh, I went over. See how it turned red? Okay, I'll just be 15 points behind. And that's it. There, I've just created my army in just a couple of minutes. I could have done it faster if I wasn't describing it as I went along. And when I print this, it's perfect. It shows me everything I need to know. Now, it doesn't print off everything that's in the codex. It'll tell you to refer to the main rule book for certain things, which is good because you need to have a main rule book. 
but everything is right there for you. As you can see, it calculates the points and does it nice and quick. Now, you can get this software at our online store. If you go to getarmybuilder.com, that'll redirect you right to our store, or you can just go to store.miniwargaming.com and you can get the software there. It's a really good price, and once you buy it, you get lifetime updates and everything, so it's you just buy it once and you're able to use it over and over and over again. This tool is awesome. We use it all the time, and you should definitely have it if you play Warhammer more than once per month. Okay? All right, enjoy. Go to getarmybuilder.com and grab your copy right now.